Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny, and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Well, you may remember um, in one of the last videos that I was showing you some of the things I got from a... I, I got them at a, at a swap meet, but um, everything seemed to be like automobile related. Oof, I hate to tear that apart, but I... I I just needed you. Anyways, part that part of what was in there were these really neat order forms, and I thought maybe we'd make some. So uh, this is Kentmore order blank, and it is from Jackson, Michigan. Let's try to see if there's anything that shows a date. I don't see anything. Anyways, I measured it. It's um, from here, eight and a half by 11. So see, perfect size. So basically, if I um, worked it right, you're just going to take an eight and a half by 11 and you're going to fold the two sides in. And I'm just going to use a coffee die to, you know, just for fun. You don't have to. You could actually use a digital that would be uh, really pretty to do that. Okay, and then I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm just going to crease that a little bit. And then um, it looks like in the center, let's see, on the sides here, on one side, Let's see in the center we're gonna leave the center and we're gonna cut down the sides so where's my scissors so I'm just folding it in half without creasing it just to kind of try to make it a little bit even and uh, I think this is about right so I'm gonna go down about like that mm. I don't think that's right. I think I'm supposed to go down like this just to the fold and then cut over. Okay, so I'm going to cut over and then I'll go up. That's probably the better, easier way to do it. Okay, so there's that. These little guys I'll save. They're nice and crunchy. Okay. Put those back there. Okay, so, so far we have that. And then, um, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to fold this up. And then um, what they did was then uh, fold it in like this. And then fold this over like that. Do I have that folded right? Yeah, I don't think I cut this very straight. Let's cut, let's straighten that up a little bit. Yeah. From when I was fiddling around there. if this is any better okay so that's gonna go in like that up like that and then down like that and then you can you could if you want to attach it into a journal It looks like it's only about five inches, about five and a half. You could make a pocket like this, put it down, and then you could put something back here, or you could just attach the whole thing or leave it and tuck it in something. So anyways, we're gonna, let's, let's cut another one. Let's see if I have any, a digital that we could use. Something that is just handy here. 
How about, what is this? How about a William Morris? I have any that's already out of its bucket here. Here's one. I don't know if that's a William Morris. I don't know what, who, whose that is. Um, okay, let, let's use it. Sorry for the jiggle. Okay, so let's make a, let's just fold another one while we're at it. And then, uh, yeah, that's right. Fold another one while we're at it, and then we will make them. Okay. I'm just creasing it good just to have a little bit more control over it. All right, now we're going to fold it in half. And I try to line those up pretty good. Looks like I didn't get it exact on the sides, but I still think it's going to work. So I'm going to cut in to the crease, and then I'm going to just come up at an angle. You wouldn't have to come up at an angle, but it's just fun. All right, so I've got that. And then I'm going to fold this up and then I'm going to fold that under or over always, I'm always a second folder you know what I mean like <laughs> I fold and adjust fold and adjust okay fun Okay, let's put this one aside. Let's put these. I've got some extras in case we have time. And let's kind of doctor them up to make them look like they're a form of some sort. So it would be like this. So I got out some... put a few things away here. I got out some <clears throat> different things to kind of decorate this so let's try to do something like that I don't know what uh here's one same thing oh it's only gigantic let's see if, let's see will that fit on there yeah well not quite let me get a bigger one in and out of these drawers I know I'm jiggling you and I apologize for that I don't know if it'll even fit on this one. Maybe. Better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it fits. Okay, I can't really see well. I need to figure... I need to get that thing off of there. But I haven't. And then I remembered to get this foamy deal out. <laughs> and that's a stamp off. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so let's use black... For this, hope everybody's doing good and having a great day. I'm just going to put this up in the corner here. Fun. It like that okay and then let's do this um i have this thing here might be fun let's put it on that okay Oh, you can't even see what I'm pointing at. I'm so sorry. Let me lift this up just a little bit. Let's give a little bit more room. Hope you can see that. Pick it maybe. 
trying to figure this little thing out here. There we go. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Ugh, sorry for moving. I hope it didn't make you sick. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put these over here for now. Okay. So I have this and I'm trying to maybe up a little higher. You can see. Okay, hopefully you can see a little bit there. So I'm trying to do this along the side here on this one. And the closest thing I have are these little checks. Now see, this thing took the majority because it's going to fold like that. So I think I'm going to put it on this side. Okay, <laughs> fun. Now, uh, let's see. I don't have, you know, anything like that, but I do have um, these Kathy Holden signature sign here from her flea market finds. This is her uh, spell binders. I'm not sure if that's still, if you can still get that or not. Oh, here's. Here's a little print shop thing that might work. Let's use that. And then we'll put some numbers and stuff. Ah, come on. Where's that thing? Here it is. You gotta remember where these all go. So I don't forget. Okay. I don't know, maybe right in the middle. Ooh, sticky. Make sure I get it covered well. Okay, so that this is going to go right in the middle, and <laughs> it's going to be a little off perspective, like um, it's tiny. Hmm, what should I do? Let's put it up here. Let's see. Nah, uh, it's okay, but it didn't come out solid. Have to work on that one a little bit. Uh, now let's put something in the middle. And I think what I'm going to do for the middle is, um, let's see, I have this thing. Look at this. I got this online a long time ago. Instead of putting date, they put datey. <laughs> but I'm going to use it. And I think it's funny. And who knows? It may not come out well anyways. But I'm going to put that right in the middle. A little crooked, but okay. I'm stamping off on the side here. All right, it's okay. Let's put uh, let's put like a um, oh, like a received or something like that. This one will be our practice. Let's see here. Here's a certified. That might be fun. 
and I have my red out over here. My red is very scary red because it's so juiced up. I've had this forever when I used to have my store. I'm like uh, 15 years ago or more. And I used to use it when I had my store. And it still has so much juice in it. Okay. Oops. There we go. And then, I think I will put... A number on there. Let's see what we have here. This might, this one might be good. This received or something. Can't really tell what it says we're going to use it and I got out this blue it says black but it's blue at least I think it looks blue <laughs> I don't know maybe they changed the color black to blue I don't know and I was uh where's my where's my guy here um Oh gosh, I got it upside down. Put it like right here. It's not very dark. It's a kind of a dark blue. I don't know if you can see it. It's fun. Now let's put um I don't even know. Since I don't really have any words, you know, like the words that are on there. Kind of just faking it here. And <clears throat> let's see. Seems like I remember one of these having, I might not have the right one, but I was thinking that there was, you know, a sign here somewhere. This sign side up, that might be fine. Look good on that. <laughs> yeah. The good thing about having one of these that has the grid is it helps you stay straight. I need that. So we've been back a day from our little vacation and we, of course, you know, I'll probably be talking about it for a few days now because we had so much fun. Uh, <clears throat> my daughter, son-in-law and the, and all four kids, children, grandchildren came over while we were gone, totally did our lawn, watered our plants, got our mail. Oh my gosh, the lawn looks so good. And I was so thankful because it rained all day yesterday. It rained um, today. Thankfully, we needed it. Uh, so that was such a special treat. Okay, so this is showing it this way. And I think it's because, you know, when you... Um, let's try it in blue. Uh, when you flip the paper... Joey's gone right now. He's at men's Bible study tonight. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to go craft a little bit. Fun! All right.
what's this one say? This side of card for a dress. I don't know. I think that's probably good. I like it. <laughs> Let's put a seal on it. Um, no, I can't tell because I've used... I'm going to use both of them. <laughs> put them both on there. I think what I'm going to do is try to get blue on one. Have these here. Looks pretty loaded. And then red on this one. Let's see. Yikes. I'm going to have to stamp off a minute on that one. That red one's pretty gooed up too much hmm stand by <laughs> I got too much on it now it's puddled okay let me now just gently tap I don't know if I can get any on it now what's going on hmm there we go I'm going to do the blue again because it might have dried. Okay. I'm watching me have them upside down. I think I do. Nope. Okay. All right. I think that's cute. I think that's really cute. This one I may need to get. I think I'm going to need to get a wipey out. Or a third of a wipey. <laughs> you know, I cut them up. I do use a full wipey sometimes on different things. But, like, for instance, if I'm going to do, like, my jelly printing or something... I'll bring like a wet rag if I remember. Okay. I think those are pretty good. Yeah. All right. Where'd those come from? <laughs> so that's fun. Now the other one, um, I'm not sure what I want to do with the other one. Oh, I meant to change out my sponge. Give me just a second. I'm going to grab a new sponge. Got it right back here in this drawer. Okay. I'm just going to And then I usually will spray it with this ink refresher. Just, you know, that first time. Kind of help it to grab that ink a little bit. We'll see if that works. <laughs> yeah. I like how it turned out. Definitely, we'll put it in a journal. It'll be a little extra writing space. That's that's so fun about like looking through vintage ephemera and stuff is that you can get, you know, inspired to make things. Even, you know, we've made match matchbox or matchbooks because, you know, off of 
just seeing a matchbook and stuff, you know, um, just all kinds of things because, you know, you see it different ways that we've seen a quilt block and we'll make something out of paper to look like it. I love this coffee dyed paper. No, I haven't coffee dyed yet. Um, I'm really going to try to figure out a way to get my camera outside set up so that you can see my process because I do a lot. I don't always do it outside, but that's my preferred because I can get a lot of, I can get a lot done, you know, a lot done at one time. So I thought I would show you that. I just like to do this a little bit, not a little bit. It goes, I mean, it's a little bit, but this one has so many folds and I love to do all the folds. I think it's, it looks neat. then let's get the journal let's get one of the journals out and just see what it would look like I'm not going to put it in because I'm not real sure where I want to put this one but I'll get my pretend journal or my the one that <coughs> oops knocked something over back there that I'm you know putting ideas and stuff in This one's going to need to be a bigger page, a little bit bigger. I put a bunch of small pages in here. That'll be fun to put that. Or, where's one of those vintage, let me get one of those vintage paper clips I got. If I can find it, here it is. Remember that? Get one of those out. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's kind of copper, silver, everything. Now, where could we put this? That's about the right size. Could even just do that. I love it. I love it. Okay, good. Now let's let's leave the paper clips out. Make a little room here. And do this one. And then we'll probably be, you know, well into time. Okay, so here's Here's the front like this. So we'll do the same, kind of the same thing, but we'll try to use a little bit different, you know, stamps and stuff. Uh, okay. Let's see if Kathy has anything. Enclosure is good. Okay, that's good to know. What's this one say? Okay, here we'll use this as the... stamp okay and somebody told me to put you know your a um, little bit of oil on so it'll adhere a little bit better to the ink I guess I haven't used this one before okay and I'm going to use black Yeah, I got to get that sticker off there because I can't see what's going on underneath. Looks pretty good. Okay, and it's going to go up here. Mm-hmm. I like it. Very good. 
Where was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and now let's do um, the line. Let's use this one on Kathy's here. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. I hope you can't hear my stomach growling. It's dinner time. <laughs> you can't, excuse me. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to run this right down the side. I rocked it a little bit. I hope it didn't smear. Oh, it's good. Okay, let's see now. Um, now let's put, I did find these. And, hmm, I could just do the part that I want, which would be, I'm just going to do like some of this down in here. I don't need that postal stamp because I already have a postal stamp. I'm going to get this stamp, but that's going to be okay. I'm trying to get a little bit of this lettering up here. There we go. Okay. All right. I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. count to 10. <laughs> I usually count to like five, but I think I would count to 10. Okay. No, that's not bad. Could, I could have used just a uh, regular script too, but I think that looks fine. All right. And now <clears throat> another little postage deal. Another little postage thing. Let's see if Kathy's has anything. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything yet that I want to use. What's this one? No, I think I'll use that on the back. Okay, then let's look at this. Just want a little... I see something different every time I look at this thing. Let's see how much room I have. How about this one? I just... Or letter. I'll just use letter. Just putting a little that seemed to work well with the other one that um, was new kind of helped I, I don't know what seasons it I guess <laughs> okay I don't 
remember if I told you that I'm going to be going to my friend. Ooh, wow, that's pretty. My friend Jane's house for the day to craft. Um, last year, or maybe even the year before, I did a studio tour of her craft room. And it's still on, you know, my YouTube channel. So if you want to see her beautiful pink studio there's a whole tour of it and I get to go play in it tomorrow um okay I did see something I wanted to use I want to use this arrow I know I have that I just don't know where it's at no idea I thought I even had two or three of them, actually. Okay, so I'm going to use this arrow on the flip side. So I'm going to turn it around. And I think I'm going to go like this. Uh, yeah. Mm, it turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. And now let's put a few little ditties on it. I think I'll put a signature on one. Just random. I'm going to do it in red. It might be time to go make some dinner. Okay, this is really gooey now. Must have sat long enough. Let me stamp off a little bit. Okay. Oops, I think it goes this way. fine but this is another one I'm gonna have to that red is something else man something else I already gooed up my nails I was fixing a vintage book that I had gotten a, little, a while back been sitting on my desk for I don't even know how long and um, the spine was gone and I didn't want the book to come apart I wanted to keep it as a book and um, so I was using some fabric to help repair it and I uh, what's going on here I hope I'm not even in the right person. Um, does that even go there? Well, it's going there today. Anyways, I use dark glitter glue a lot. Oh, I have these two swapped. That's why. I use dark glitter glue, and so I've got my nails kind of chewed up a little bit. Um, okay, now let's put another seal on it. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. Let's put enclosure. Enclosure. And I think I'll use black. I forgot to put my hand on this one to get it to season it up. Let's see if it works. Looks like it's picking up okay. Oops. That's 
happen. It's all fun. <laughs> well, we made two. And I think um, I think you could probably make them a lot eat quicker if uh, they weren't so fun to make, you know, and use all your stuff because it's it's just so fun to kind of get into your stamps and, and see what's up. I do want to put something blue on there. And I think I'm going to just use a stamp. And I've got some... I've got one loaded up right here. How about this one? Where's that blue? I keep some of my numbers. You probably remember. I keep some of my numbers loaded up on a thing just to be able to use. I like that. I think I'm going to put another one of those circles on it, though. Those little circles. There's a different one. I'm going to do it in red. If the red can behave. And then we'll be done. I need to get um, my books that I, they're out in the dining room table. I was organizing a little bit. I need to get the ones that we got while we were on our trip and uh, get those in here to show you. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. It's fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I wonder what we'll make over at Jane's because I'm not taking any of my stuff. I'm just going to be using her stuff. I wonder what funness will come from that. Isn't that cute, though? And then you have all this writing in here. Now, in here, obviously, you could distress it somehow if you wanted to use, like, you could use your uh, <clears throat> stencils and, and well, yeah, see how that even went through there. Well, let's just do the front. You can see what the front's going to look like. And then we'll go. My tummy is is screaming uncle. <laughs> yeah, look, and this um, digital, you know, picked up really good. I'm not sure why this was in my William Morris stuff, but it was. That's so cute. All right. Well, we made two. I'm happy with that. That was a lot of fun. And I'm glad we found this thing. It's pretty cool. And the other one is in this little journal here. Where do we put it? There it is. That's really cute really cute. Well, thanks everybody for hanging with me and um, remaking an old, what is this? Order blank. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, we pray blessings over you and we want you to know you're so loved. Bye everyone.